Hello, and welcome to Yale New Haven Children's Hospital's Emergency Department. We are committed to providing a safe and secure environment for all of our patients and their families. This is true for our patients with medical as well as behavioral health needs. We value your partnership to help ensure this is accomplished in the best interest of your child. A visit to the ED can be scary for kids of all ages. That's why we are here sharing a video to walk you and your child through the process. This will provide a sense of your journey from arrival until the time a safe plan of care is developed. If you arrive by car to the Children's Emergency Department at 1 Park Street, you will be greeted by a valet attendant who will take care of your vehicle. Upon entering the ED, you will be greeted by a triage nurse who will obtain some basic information about your child and talk with you about your reason for the visit. The triage nurse will also take your child's vital signs and weight and provide an identification bracelet. After that, you will be escorted into one of our triage rooms where some additional information will be gathered. The nurse will ask about allergies, medical history, current medications, as well as screening questions to assess the severity of your child's condition and behavioral concerns. A member of our protective services team in tandem with our nursing team will ensure that your child doesn't have any sharp objects or items that they could use to potentially harm themselves. They will do this by waving a small metal detector over your child without making any physical contact. The nurse will then ask you and your child for any belongings you may have and will secure them during your stay. Depending on what your child is wearing, they may be asked to change into paper scrubs. This is for their safety. After the nurse completes an initial assessment, you and your child will be escorted to a private room in the department with special safeguards. For your child's safety, an observation associate, sitter, or ED technician will be stationed outside your child's room for continuous monitoring. A healthcare provider will meet with you to discuss what brought you to the ED and will address any of your medical concerns. You will also meet with a social worker who will complete a comprehensive evaluation and also talk with you and your child individually. The social worker consults with the medical and psychiatric team who will develop an individualized care plan to meet your child's needs. On weekends, you may meet with a child psychiatry fellow, physicians who are completing their training to become child psychiatrists, or a psychology fellow who will complete a psychiatric safety evaluation and speak with you and your child. They will consult with the medical team to create an individualized care plan. These evaluations may occur in person or virtually through secure real-time audio video communication. You may meet one of our milieu counselors. Milieu counselors provide one-to-one -one support for children struggling emotionally or those who would benefit from an activity or game to engage in during the evaluation process. Our milieu counselors are highly skilled and trained members of our behavioral health team. Child life specialists and art therapists are also available for additional support and age-appropriate activities. Once the care team reviews your child's case, a determination for a safe care plan will be made to include either admission to one of our child or adolescent psychiatric units or discharge home with follow-up resources and support in place. If your child is admitted, the social worker and milieu counselor will let you know what to expect on the inpatient unit. Admission to an inpatient unit depends on bed availability and we appreciate your patience. Our team will do their utmost to help make this process as smooth as possible. At all times, your child will be carefully supervised and cared for. If discharged home, your child may be referred for outpatient services. You will leave the ED with detailed follow-up instructions and a plan on how to ensure your child's safety, including but not limited to removing unsafe objects and creating a phone tree of support, depending on your child's needs. We hope you found this video helpful to alleviate your concerns about bringing your child to the emergency department. Our highly trained staff are committed to the care of your child throughout your time in the hospital. Thank you for watching.